William Barrack was an important Indigenous leader, a true hero of Nam, Melbourne. He is also the first Indigenous artist of renown. He was born in Rushy Creek in about 1824 and is said to have witnessed Wurundjeri elders signing the Spurious Treaty of Melbourne with Batman in 1835. He settled at Corrandirk Aboriginal Station near Hillsville in 1863. If we look at the drawing that Barak has made, Ceremony with Rainbow Serpent, we see that the male dancers are wearing possum skin cloaks, the most important cultural objects worn by Aboriginal people in Victoria, incised and painted with designs that encode the people's relationship with country and are symbolic of their identity. He uses a mixture of red ochre and Ricketts blue. This represents a Naji, a public ceremony usually performed at night. There are two campfires. There also are women who are depicted witnessing the ceremony. The men and the women in this beautiful drawing are wearing lyrebird feather headdresses. It's a very sort of intimate view of the artist's hand because the pencil line, which was what he used first, is still evident. It's interesting to think about this drawing in the context of the room in which it is displayed. We see paintings by David Davies, E. Phillips Fox and Frederick McCubbin which represent Barrack's country. But there is no sign of Indigenous people evident in them. There is an absence of Indigenous people. If we think about the iconic work of Frederick McCubbin, the pioneer, we see the settlers are struggling to come to terms with the Australian bush. And we also see in the distance signs of the emerging city of Melbourne, which was established on the country of Barracks, Orangery and other groups of the Kulin Nation, according to the Spurious Treaty of Melbourne in 1835, which signalled dispossession and destruction of Indigenous peoples' culture and language. Barrack's drawing is a reminder that Aboriginal people are here today and stronger than ever for Black Lives Matter.